Hello everybody, you are starting to view a fantastic workshop deep dive on PowerShell for System Center Configuration Manager. So before starting this uh, workshop, you will need to manage the PowerShell module for System Center Configuration Manager SCCM. So when you want to use the PowerShell module, you have uh, several way to connect to the uh, configuration manager server the first one is of course go directly on the server the second one do it remotely or install you're going to see the uh, common let module so you must uh, ask some question okay you must ask you some question <laughs> about which version do you have uh, do you want to import it or install it and how to discover all the common let that you just retrieved? So first thing you must be aware about the version you have Here I just paste a URL directly at I think that you know this website. It's build number WordPress slash SCCM So the first thing is to know which version you have because in each version you have new PowerShell command led. This is very important to see in which version you have. So to see the version, I'm going to show you first how you see that. So here you go directly to your uh, SCCM GUI console. You go in administration and here you have a site. In this site, you have the name of your site. So my site is Alatum site, primary site, the name of the server active and the site code. The site code is very important because this is a way that you can connect directly to your drive, the PowerShell drive and start to use PowerShell commandlet. To see your version, you must go on properties here. When you go on properties, you will see here in general, the type, the parent, and here is the version. And here is the bool number. So, to have this information, let's go directly on our site, on our site, sorry, and we're going to go here and type SCCM build number. When you go here, you access this build number and you must find, so actually, like I told you, um, our site is with 8498130 so 8498 so 8498 so 8498 so if i go here you see that actually the bull number is this one so that's mean that we are in SSM 1702 you see that you have after the 8540 this is the SCCM 1706 after you have also the 8577 and until until of course the 1802 was the last one Watch out about the technical preview. It's not in this in this course, but just to say you that a technical preview is limited to uh, English to 90 user, 90 days, and I think maybe 10 device. So be attention about that. But here, in our case, we are in 1702 here. Okay, so this is the PowerShell. So this is our version here. Okay, so this is important to see when you are running PowerShell, which version you are. So now that you know your version, in this situation it's build 8498 and that you went on this website, let's see how can you manage the uh, PowerShell module. So you can if you want download the SCCM common let library. I just uh, give you here an URL where you can go and download it. When you download it, he will download it locally to your computer so you can use it remotely. The other way is to do import module. I'm going to show you how it's working. So 
let's go directly to our SCCM server. So here, I'm going to just, um, sorry about that, this is why our last module about you know, the get discovery method. So I'm just going to add a new one. So if you want to load your model, something is that you must be aware about something is uh, when you run PowerShell, if I run this PowerShell here, and I'm going to make it a little bigger. So let's change our properties and get something more readable. Okay. If I do get, for example, CM site, I don't have anything. See? So if I do CDS01, I don't have anything. Why? Because the partial module is not loaded here. So, oh, sorry, I did a mistake. <laughs> I wasn't on the good computer. This is the good one. <laughs> so I'm stupid. Sorry about that. So let's run PowerShell here. So I'm now on the SCCM server. So just change it and okay, that's better. So if I do uh, get CM site, I don't have anything. See why? Because the module SCCM is not loaded. Okay. If I do a get module, and I do a list available, you will see that when I run PowerShell uh, from my box where my SSM is installed, I don't have any PowerShell module. Okay, so if I see here, I don't see them here. And if I go all up, you will not see a SCCM here. See, so what you must do is that you must import it. So where is it? I'm going to show you where is it. So you do import module and it will be here. It's on 86 system center. So, oh, no, it's not this, Microsoft. Yeah, that's better, Configuration Manager. After, you must go on Admin Console. You must go on Bin here. See, I show you all up. And after Bin, you have the Configuration Manager. Um, that's it. And, and here you must upload the this one, PSD1. See, so I'm going to show you all up. So it's import module, C, uh, program files, it's Microsoft Configuration Manager, Admin Console, Bean, Configuration Manager, and this is the name of the module. So if I do enter, he will import it. You must know something is that when you import your Moodle, he will import all the PowerShell command that we will see in this workshop. So, okay, so that's better. So now, if I do a get model list available and pipe it, I'm going to pipe it to a file module with an S dot text. If I now, for example, do a notepad of my module, I can see that now he has loaded my configuration manager. So, um, and, and, and that's he did the work. So, meaning that now, if I do, for example, a get CM site, it will not work. Do you know why it doesn't work? Normally, you know, this is a, a PowerShell command. So if I do get CM package, for example, there is no result. This is something that often people don't understand. Why? Do you know why? Okay. Do you have an idea? Look here. This command cannot be run from the current drive. You must know something is that your, you know that your SCCM here, site code is S. O one. So if I want to connect, I must do CD S O one. Okay, and now of course if I do there, I have all my console, all the folder that I have in my console, you know, so uh, configuration item, this is for um, this is for compliance, I have my device collection, my driver, OSD package, query, software metering. So if I do now get same site, here is information about my site. 
So to see all the command that you have, okay, you can say you can say get command and minus module and configuration manager. When you do that, you have all the command to manage your CCM. So we have a lot of them because if, if we do, for example, a measure object, you will see that you have 787 commands. So it's a lot. The thing is that when you want to search for a command, the best thing is you get help. Okay, so for example, I need all the the commandlet where it is named application. For example, if I do that, he will just send me all the command for where is the name application. Of course, the problem is that you have it also here. And this is not SCCM, but I have it here. This is better. See? So here is all the, the, the command. The other way is that when you run this one, you can do an outgrid view. If you do an outgrid view, this is very nice. Why? Because here you have now all the command here, SCCM, and you can, you can say, okay, I want to manage collection. So if I type collection, you will see here only the command word is named collection. If I want to manage, for example, boot, here, this is my boot, Windows PE, for example. If I want to manage my, my role here, I have, you know, import, get, CM site role, okay, add a role, for example. So, so it's very simple here to add some criteria and, you know, just search the command. So all is here, see? So if I want, for example, to have all my command about, you know, task sequence, task sequence, sorry. It's task sequence, see, all is here. You know, for example, get CM task sequence, okay? So if I do a get, CM task sequence. I will have my test sequence. Okay, this is the test sequence uh, uh, we, we will create in the lab. So, so is it okay for you? Remember that um, if I go back to my C here, and after if I go, if I do a get, it doesn't work anymore. Why? Because he's not in his good drive. So that's the way you do it. Another way to connect to your SCCM is to use here, all up here, connect via PowerShell and connect via PowerShell. You know, it's the integration uh, mesh, uh, engine. So this is the graphical way. So if I run this one, something is nice is that if I run it, he will do all the work. So he will connect directly to the module and go directly on the drive. So that's the best, that's a good way. The problem is that if you run PowerShell, without running by the console, it will not work. So if I do now A, he's doing the work, C. And now you see that he's directly here, okay? You have also the, the way that it's published by Microsoft, Redmond, so this is a good way. The other way to connect also is to go by connect via PowerShell ISC. So this one, he will not run it. He will just display you the command that you must run. So he tell you, okay, you must, um, oh, sorry, it's this one. This is what, this was another thing. So he say, okay, run this one. So see, he's running this one. And, uh, and after he's, he set location to SO1. So set location to SO1, this is the way that, you know, you do the set location an import module here. So if you see this one, for example, here is the, um, you know, the, the uh, folder where it's actually running and in, importing the uh, PSD one. And after if you do set location, this one, he, he will do it directly. Okay. That's good. So now we're going to jump to, to our, our Windows 10 machine. And in the Windows 10 machine, you will see how to remotely uh, access your SCCM server. This can be very nice. So I'm here. If I do a get CM site, 
I have nothing because of course I don't have the module SSM which is loaded on my Windows 10 client. So if I want to connect remotely to my SSM, what I can do is enter per session. Oh, sorry, I don't need any update here. So let's close it. So I can do inter inter per session and I can say computer name and LAN CFG. This is very nice. So let's do that here. And after uh, when I am on my CFG, see here, I can do what I want. Okay, so I can do uh, get sim site. Okay, of course it's not over there because because of course I'm not in my drive. No, oh, yeah, because yeah, I must import it. Import module and its uh, program files here, and and that's it. So that's very nice. Um, it's admin console. You know where is it now? It's been, and of course it's uh, configuration manager. So it's this one. So see, you can just you know, uh, you know, import it, and after, of course, you have the directly access to your drive. This is something very nice. Okay, for everybody, I think it's quite clear. So this is a way to manage your PowerShell command here. So that's good. So this is a timeline of of the course. So I just you know discuss about that. Uh, but if you go in the introduction of the course, you will see all the module and all the details of each module. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hope that now you're ready to follow this fantastic workshop course. The first one in the world. <laughs> ciao, ciao.